Hello and welcome to episode 21 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how you can annotate a PDF file in Evernote on an iPad or generally uh, any other kind of tablet. <clears throat> So here we go. I'm going to open up my Evernote and I have a file that I already added, which is a PDF file. So I'm going to click on the PDF file. Actually, no, just go back. Uh, when you click on the PDF file that's in, in your actual Evernote note, it'll take you to the editing window. So as you can see along the top here, we've got I can send this somewhere. I've got search and I've got this A, so A with a circle around it. If you click on that, It'll take you to the editing window. So let's just have a look and see what features we have in the editing window. Well, if we click on this top one, this means basically that I can actually uh, let's select this one and I will do um, click on here. And now I can just uh, move this around so I can get the arrow to go where I want it. And I can just add that there, which would suggest that this is OK and I can add some text. So there we go. Um, so that's approved. Very good. <laughs> and so that's one that I can do. If I click back down on here. I can go into the square or I can actually change this to circles. So uh, I can now uh, click on this and have create a square around that. Um, and if I wanted to now, I could just add some text. So click tap on where you want the text and we'll say need to look at this and you can change the color by the way of your text um, I can go into red or orange or green or whatever I want to do I can change the color of my text so and you can move that around wherever you want to move it so I'm gonna move that there done um, now the other features that you've got is we've got a highlighting button which is here so I can now I can highlight this if I want to and we're in green again I'm going to change that to yellow because I think yellow is a better color to do that with so um, I've got that one and I can actually hang on a second I can click on that and you know I can actually write with this if I wanted to I get a better color so uh, but it I don't really the writing isn't quite as nice as you get on other v options but anyway you can write on it if you wish um, but anyway that's just one option that you have for you so that's my so this is the highlighting button here I think we got the highlighting there yeah and then we've got the um, <clears throat> the writing tool here so again I can actually click on that and I can go okay we've got a problem here I need to look at that um, I can add a star but for some reason the writing doesn't feel as nice as it does on other applications but anyway so that's your highlighting tool here so we've got the highlighting tool which I can highlight like this um, and you've got various other options with that uh, we've got the arrow key which is the very famous arrow key for I'm gonna put that big red one so we can actually draw out from there uh, remember from on the desktop wherever you're drawing from uh, that's where the arrow goes so and I can move this and <clears throat> I can add a note <clears throat> so on the iPad you do have various options available to you um, <clears throat> that you can actually use uh, for uh, editing your PDF file the, the the writing tool doesn't feel as right as it as I wish it would uh, it's not quite as smooth as um, other writing applications, but I'm sure in time that will get better. OK, so I just wanted to show you what you can do with Evernote's uh, PDF <coughs> um, editing tools on the uh, iPad. And remember, you can undo any of these and you can uh, clear annotations completely. So I've cleared them and I can change things around as and when I how I want <coughs> um, there's no uh, distinction between how I do this um, but as I say uh, the writing tool I wish it was better uh, because it's for some reason it just doesn't feel um, very 
smooth compared to other writing tools. It's blech. But anyway, that's the only criticism I have with the annotating file. Um, but that just shows you what you can do with Evernote um, and the editing features that you have on the uh, <clears throat> with the pencil and everything else. So you, if by the way, if you do get rid of all the annotations, you can just drag them back by clicking the undo until it goes. Clicking on save will save that file into your Evernote uh, field. And so next time when I open that, it has all my uh, notes added in and it actually gives me a nice little summary of what I've done. So I can go and see there and see my summary. Okay, hopefully that gives you some ideas of what you can do with Evernote and uh, its annotating tools on a tablet or in this particular example, a um, iPad. Uh, but if you do need any uh, other, if you do have any questions about this, please feel free to ask them in the uh, comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. OK, so that's it for episode 21. Please have a very, very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.